Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ADIL. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like you this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis on Monday, so that is where the green and red line annotations are coming from. After today's price movement, definitely some updates here need to be done. First thing I'm gonna do is a little house cleaning, just get rid of that line down there. Sure, that level still pertains to the chart, it's just not relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing clutter because there's conf uh, lines and everything all over the place. And when that all that can lead to confusion. So let's just try to keep this as clean as possible. So the first update though that doesn't even be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So this area right here around $5.70 will be that ideal level of support. Ideal because it's not like if the price falls below there, I'm saying that the entire chart's broken or ruined or anything like that. I'm not saying that at all. But yeah, if the price can manage to actually stay up above that level, that would certainly be a huge sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so a big picture point of view, that's where the purple line comes into play, the 50 period, a simple moving average. As the name implies, that line is going to move itself higher and higher as time progresses. So the straightforward way to judge the health of the move, this right here being defined as quote unquote the move, just watch the purple line. As long as the price can stay above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control, how are you going to best visualize that? You know, that's what's being represented. Again, yeah, staying up above 560-ish, that would be great. However, a grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above uh, that purple line, the bull is 100% own the chart. What about areas of resistance? In terms of where the sellers are at, they didn't really hide themselves too well, made themselves pretty apparent, but right up around $7.30, give or take, a, a, you know, a nickel, is gonna be where the, the key battleground going forward is. You can see that there's just a whole bunch of price congestion right up around that area of the chart. So that'll be public enemy number one going forward. All in all though, it was another new day of new highs and then higher lows. And as long as higher lows continue to be built, everything else will take care of itself. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.